Hey everybody, Dave Neal here, stand-up comedian, podcaster, and of course I make recap videos for Bachelor and Bachelorette, the franchise. Uh, late breaking news, wasn't planning on making a video today, but apparently Cassie Randolph uh, got a restraining order on Colton Underwood. If you don't know what I'm talking about, move along, this isn't for you, but most likely you follow the Bachelor franchise. Colton was a um, the lead a couple years ago. He was the Bachelor. Cassie was one of the finalists, and she basically dumped him. She wasn't ready for him. She's a young, young 20s, good looking. She just wasn't ready for his kind of heavy emotional commitment. And so what happened was she dumped him. He basically quit the show. He jumps, uh, you know, grabs his passport, jumps over a fence, and just disappears. They couldn't find him anywhere he didn't want to go on with the show he just wanted Cassie so he basically dumped the other girls and went after Cassie they dated on and off more so on than off he uh, got coronavirus uh, her parents uh, took him in they quarantined him in Huntington Beach they've always been good to him but um, recently in the last couple months she broke it off with him officially well TMZ reports today that um, she actually got a restraining order on Colton um, bachelor Colton Underwood allegedly placed tracking device on Cassie's car and she also claims he was sending harassing text messages. Uh, TMC obtained the court docs in which Cassie claims Colton's been stalking and harassing her with unsettling text messages. She claims Colton also went as far as planning a tracking device taped to the bottom of the back bumper of her car to keep track of her whereabouts. Colton, do like the rest of us. Track somebody by using their social media account. You don't need to be... What a creepy thing, Colton. By the way, don't stalk anybody. Don't downvote me. I'm only kidding. But how creepy is this? He's what, I mean, like, he's a charitable guy, he's supposed to be, like, a Christian and all these things, and he's tracking her whereabouts. Cassie said they broke up in mid-April and goes on to claim some of the harassing text messages, including accusing her of hanging out with her old ex-boyfriend. Who cares? Her right. Broken up. Feminism. Um, she alleges Colton also sent anonymous text messages to her and to himself, pretending to also be a victim of the anonymous stalker. What? Uh, Cassie claims Colton, by the way, Cassie Colton, too many C's. Cassie claims Colton later admitted to sending the messages and planting the tracking device. Uh, yeah, he split with her and uh, they, they said it got nasty. They weren't going to talk trash about each other, but obviously that went out the window. You know, what are you going to do? They're in their 20s. Of course they're going to talk trash about each other. They're going to go on a podcast. They're going to, you know, throw some, spill some tea, whatever you kids say. Uh, according to legal docs obtained by TMZ, Cassie filed Friday in Los Angeles. Currently unclear what her allegations are against him and if a judge has signed off on the order. Here's the thing. I've actually had to deal with a stalker. Uh, my stalker was more online. They didn't actually come to me in person, but they knew way too many creepy things about me and where my parents lived. Bananas. Um, bananas. Uh, so I, 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 I know that legally, if you want to stop somebody from going near you, obviously you need a restraining order. You need a paper trail saying this isn't appropriate. And unfortunately, some people don't hear when you say, don't show up to my house. They don't hear that. Next thing you know, you see someone in a van across the street. They rent it on Enterprise. It's like, what are we doing? What kind of weird, creepy movie is this? It reminds me of the show You, remember? Very creepy. You know, because the difference between love and hate is very blurred sometimes. And love can be obsessive. That is not kind. That's not in the Bible. You should not be obsessive, okay? Colton, take a note here. Uh, that's my charity to you, Colton, okay? I have a charity too. It's called Common Sense. Letter B. Go meet some other girls. You got the verified check mark. You just sold a book. You played pro for a game or two on the practice squad. Use that to your advantage. Get out there and meet somebody new. She doesn't want you. That's the thing. It's like, it's like chasing after a dog. You, you run after your dog. Your dog ran away. The more you run after it, it's just going to keep running. That was a bad example, but we're not going to edit it out. Colso had some health issues. He tested positive for COVID. Like I said, her family took him in. Um, of course, we'll have to wait and see what Colton says, but I wanted to uh, see what you guys thought about all this. Uh, this is pretty crazy. Normally, we get a lot of gossip in the Bachelor franchise. People are like, oh, Nick Vile started an OnlyFans. Um, should we let him do that? And it's like, let a man make his living. You know what I mean? Let a man run a podcast or a Patreon, have an OnlyFans, whatever these people want to do to make a living, their names have already been besmirched through The Bachelor. You know what I mean? They can't, you can't just, uh, you know, get a job at Jamba Juice anymore. You've, you've been in The Bachelor. You're going to get fired from any normal job, run a podcast, become an influencer. That's the life. And all Colton had to do was not stalk his ex-girlfriend. Colton, all you had to do was write your book, go on a couple podcasts. But if this is true and innocent until proven guilty, but if you put a tracking device on her car, you should worry about being tracked by her brothers 
and dad because if I if my, if someone put a tracking device on my sister's car, I'm getting the team out and we're coming after you and we're gonna find out what's up because that's manipulation and it's 2020, bro. That wasn't right 10 years ago. It certainly isn't right now. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll respond to all the comments and uh, if you do like. Uh, what we're doing over here, my YouTube and all that. Uh, subscribe now and get ready for what's going to be an incredible season of The Bachelorette. I mean, I don't know if it's because I'm in quarantine. I live over here in Hollywood. We got the forest fires happening. Every time I walk the dog, it feels like I'm, you know, cooking s'mores. Uh, I haven't been able to go out, uh, out and about for the last nine months. Starting to lose my mind. But here's what I have going for me. I'm not tracking any of my exes. So that's always nice. Wow, what a weird end to a week. You didn't think 2020 could get any weirder. Colton says, hold my iced coffee. Anyway, folks, leave a comment. Bye, guys.